Is there a different mindset coming off this bye week compared to the last bye week as it relates to preparation? A absolutely. It's it's a unique situation where we got really two bye weeks, you know, almost back to back, squeezing one game in there, and mm -hmm. we've had a good week, had an extra practice in there, and just trying to get some of our young guys ready. Mm -hmm. uh, when you talk to a young team like this, when you have the ups and downs, how do you bring your background, your experience into the picture to kind of help get them throughout this moment? You know, you really think where you, you're at your reality right now and you just got to be able to respond and respond mm -hmm. and learn off what has happened in the past played three really good teams you know really back to back and so it's about healing up through the bye week but doing the little things and executing and playing playing hard and finishing yeah. i mean we know you have no control over how you get scheduled but while to have three top ranked teams coming in i mean is that something you still try to get up for or you say we got to just play it one game at a time how does that go you always take the one game at a time approach and, and your schedule is what it is and, and that's what it is for this year and so you know it's a challenge and mm -hmm. physically it's a challenge as you go through that grind, but then you need to respond really after each game. Sure. A last question. Uh, what's one thing that the media, the fans, people don't really get that has to go into preparing for these games and going in and out whether you're winning or losing? What's one thing that they probably don't understand? Just the preparation and time that these guys put in as far as just the situations that can come up if they do. You know, you play some in them in practice. Mm -hmm. and, and so they're just excited, I think, for the opportunity to play again. Okay. I appreciate that. What's different with this bye week preparation compared to last bye week's preparation? Um, well, this week, um, <clears throat> there's really not too much different, you know, um, between the different bye weeks. Uh, you just get a head start, you know, on the, on the team that we playing. So Illinois, we got a, we got a big jump on them. Mm -hmm. um, really, just just mastering, uh, recognizing formations, recognizing you know what they like to do in certain situations. Um, so we just get a little bit more. To, it's, it's pretty much like prep for the first game. You know what I mean? You, you get <clears throat> you get a lot of time to to get ready for a team. So. You know, when um, you look at Illinois and some of the success they've recently had, does that change your outlook and how you look at this team, or you treat them like any other team coming in? Um, well, we, well, we know Illinois is, is, is a great team. Um, regardless, you know, their, their program history the last couple of years, they have a great head coach in Lovey Smith, legendary. You know what I mean? So, so we know we know that they're going to come ready to play. Um, they're going to be real, uh, well versed in what we run and what we do. So it's going to be a good matchup. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Um, at the start of the season, you probably wanted the you know, uh, record to be different, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. What's your mindset today preparing for Illinois on Saturday? Uh, the mindset today, you know, you kind of, regardless of how the season's gone, you know, before, up to this point, um, whether good or bad, you always got to kind of, you know, you focus on going 1 0 every week. So um, that's kind of our mindset, you know, saying we got a great opportunity to beat Illinois. Uh, so we're doing everything we can to, to prepare for that. Yeah. What's different about this week by preparation compared to your last by preparation? Um, different. Um, I think. I mean, I'll just say more of a more of a focus. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying. I think. Um, you know, whenever you come off a bye week, and especially we lost, so you got to kind of focus on the things that you didn't do well mm -hmm. um, in that loss. So we've been kind of doing that defensively, um, and then yeah, like I said, just getting ready for the noise. And one more thing. What's something you learned about this team in the past few weeks, and what's something you learned about yourself as a player in the last few weeks? Uh, that's a great question. Um, for me personally, I would say. Uh, just resiliency, you know, um, regardless of the circumstances, regardless, regardless of what's going on, uh, I'm going to keep pushing, come out with the same mentality, same attitude, uh, to dominate practice, dominate the game, uh, you know, like I said, regardless of the circumstances. And I say the same for, for our team as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think for us it's about uh, keeping our confidence, maintaining our confidence, and really just attacking it, you know, attacking each week like it's the first week of the season. Sure. You know, um, yeah. Having that same type of, uh, you know, passion for the game, mentality, and, um, you know, uh, enthusiasm as well. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Back again after a week off for the uh, bye. What was different about this bye week preparation compared to the past bye week preparation? Uh, no, not uh, too much of a difference. We still had the same format, but uh, we got uh, the bye week week. We got in uh, early study on uh, the guys that were going up against Illinois. Okay, one more thing. Is there a new mantra, a different uh, frame of mind for the team going into this game compared to the last game? Oh, no, definitely not. This is just is a good team. And, uh, like, we've been playing a bunch of good teams in a row. Just uh, So they, they got a chance of beating us just like we got a chance of beating them. So no different mindset. I'm going with the same mindset. Okay. Good luck. Good. At the end of the season, we probably stood right in this actual area and talked as we started. If you can go back in time, what would you advise your – first week self compared to now? Uh, just keep going, um, mm -hmm. keep fighting, uh, keep playing, no matter the circumstances, just keep going. Mm -hmm. So um, what's something that the team as well as yourself may have learned from 
having this bye week compared to the last bye week? Um, that's a good question. Um, just like I said before, just keep going. Yeah. Um, no matter the circumstances, we don't have five games left anymore like we did before the first bye week. We only have four. And what are we going to do with these four games? Mm -hmm. um, how are we going to execute? How are we going to appro approach each, each step of the week mm -hmm. and getting ready for this game against Illinois? Okay, what would you say the tone in the locker room is uh, with the guys right now? I say we're still high. Um, we're still thinking we can win our next four. Mm -hmm. um, still going in with that same mindset. Um, not worried about what happened in the past. Just focus on right now. Sure. Okay, well, good luck, baby.